and here is Bitcoin. Steam it website seems to be pretty shaky. It was down a bit this morning. So let's see if we can do the best we can. Here is Bitcoin, the accounts that I had projected for last night from a forward looking discernment. And let's see what's happened. Let's zoom in right away into 30 minutes. So we had called 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3, 4, 5. Counter the subways of this 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. <coughs> became the subwaves of one. Then we counted ABC. So this was a very nice ABC. What kind of an ex flat was it? It was an expanded flat. Then it started going up again. Now here is where some modifications can be made. I had expected one, two, three, four, five. <coughs> but it occurred to me today, well, gee, Hedgin, there's a resistance line right here. And this resistance line, we've buffed it right here too. So it should have been obvious, and I missed it, that it would be repelled by this resistance line. And sure enough, it did. <laughs> so you live and learn. You never stop learning. But it was late last night. No excuses. I was traveling almost half the day. So how can we do this? One, two, three, four, A, B, C, one, two. So this A, B, C gave two. I believe we go one, two, three, four, five. I'd rather go one, two, three, four, five. And then <coughs> I'd like to do this as an expanded triangle. Why did I prefer expanded? Triangle, well, this here, this doesn't look very impulsive to give me the fifth wave. This looks more ABC ish. And knowing how common expanded flats are, just like here, no different here, and sure enough, prices are rising from here again. So if this is one, two, then these fives are one of three, two of three, one of three, two of three, and we should get hopefully three of three, four of three. Five of three. So let's get rid of this. Now the key is can it breach this? That's the key. I think it'll come here, be repelled a little more to the support line. Go. Repel to the support line. Maybe try a few more times. And what do you get there? There you go. I might potentially set up a ascending right triangle. But I think that's probably what might happen.
Now let's look at, zoom out a little bit. Okay. Could have left shoulder, head, and then the right shoulder. Okay. So what I'm drawing out here is the left shoulder, head, I have an inverted head and shoulders, and then right shoulder. Okay. I call this the LS. I call this the RS for right shoulder. I call this the head. And let's go from here, long line. I'll do a straight line instead of a free line. So if this is the bottom of the head, this is the neckline. I think I've done this before here. Okay. Oh no, this was for the ascending white triangle target. 47.29. It's the minimum move if this head and shoulders actually happens. Now let's look at the volume. Here's the left shoulder. Volume should usually confirm. So here's the left shoulder. Here's the volume for the head, and here's the volume for the right shoulder. So the head has a higher volume. Shoulders have lo lesser volume than the head. That's a confirmation as well. The only thing that bothers me about this head and shoulders discernment is it's on a uptrend. Usually they're better on a downtrend as a reversal. But I have seen plenty in uptrends that still work out fine. So it's something clearly to look out for. This is getting very messy. There's a lot of labels, that's fine. Let's get rid of this for now. So we are looking for wave three, blue. Wave four might come back down and rest on this, which could become a new support. Wave four, blue. Okay. There might be one more dip. And then there you go. That's what I was looking for. So this is sub micro. These one, two, three, four, five make up subways of one, A, B, C, two of three, three of three, four of three, five of three for three. Then we'll get a, see how here it was an expanded flat, 
most likely away four from alternation, about 63% of the time, will be a zigzag. Five, three, five, or one of those types. Okay, might be a combination as well, who knows. Now, zoom back out again. <coughs> the other thing I'm looking for as a potential. Okay, go back to one. There you go. Jeez, all the labels. You saw this ascending right triangle, right? The apex is here. And around the 10th of October. So there's a week, another week or so left, almost. Price could do this. Keep bouncing around. That's possible too. That's another thing I'm looking at, so that the, it'll have to, it'll want to get closer to the apex to build up that pent up energy to burst decisively out of the resistance top resistance. If that's the case, then the minimum projection posted earlier for this ascending weight triangle. would come into play, where I draw the parallel line, except the apex is not there anymore, but rather here. Back to, so, so around 63.43. And then we'll take get rid of this for now. So anyways, this here is the ascending right triangle. We'll see how it goes. There's a cluster of potential tops. Now Grisgal, you had asked, asked him whether this, what I'm projecting now is on our trajectory to five, six, seven thousand. Yes and no. Uh, if it does close to seven thousand, okay, then it kind of makes sense. But the big picture I have here is that we are in A, B, and see, this is then will be the wave four, not here. We are in a big A, B expanded flat, A, B, and C. And after this, after that, then let's go to the daily. Okay, so here's three, A, B, C, here will be four. And then I was going to do a big picture analysis about Miles to do it here, give an intro to it. Will be five, where five will go to approximately, in my opinion, then 13,000. Okay, so that will be the wave five. Let me log this. Um, it doesn't look as go. Come on. Okay, A, B, C. This will be 4. <coughs> so from a long-term perspective, this is my primary. And here will be the 5. So that's what I'm looking at right now. And let's see Subject to change, of course. Subject to change because depending on how the data feed comes in for new prices being placed. Okay, so it's A, B, C for four. Expand it flat. And then we'll get the final C. And this B could be done by end of the year or before, let's say. And then we get a sizable 
scary, fear-mongering decline beyond the point of A. This is when we will go to maybe 2,000, 2,500 to 2,000, maybe even spike below 1,800 or so. And then it'll pick itself up as usual like Bitcoin always does and just start again and trek upwards to 13k or so. I hope this has been helpful. I hope I have earned the right to ask you for your upvote, follow, and a resteam. That would be very much appreciated. Any questions or comments, please do post. No different here. And sure enough, prices are rising from here again. So if this is one, two, then these fives are one of three, two of three, One of three, two of three, and we should get, hopefully, three of three. Four of three, five of three. So let's get rid of this. Now the key is, can it breach this? That's the key. I think it'll come here, be repelled a little more to the support line go repel to the support line maybe try a few more times and what do you get there there you go might, might potentially set up a ascending right triangle But I think that's probably what might happen. Now let's look at, zoom out a little bit. Okay, could have a left shoulder, head, and then the right shoulder. So what I'm drawing out here is the left shoulder, head, I want an inverted head and shoulders, and then right shoulder. Okay. I call this the LS. I call this the RS for right shoulder. Call this. I want inverted head and shoulders and then right shoulder. Okay. Call this the LS. I call this the RS for right shoulder. Call this the head. And let's go from here. One line. I'll do a straight line instead of a three line. So if this is the bottom of the head. This is the neckline. I think I've done this before here. Okay. No, this was for the ascending white triangle target. 47.29 is the minimum move if this head and shoulders actually happens. Now 
let's look at the volume. Here's the left shoulder. Volume should usually confirm. So here's the left shoulder. Here's the volume for the head. And here's the volume for the right shoulder. So the head has a higher volume. Shoulders have lo lesser volume than the head. That's a confirmation as well. The only thing that bothers me about this head and shoulders discernment is it's on an uptrend. Usually they're better on a downtrend as a reversal. But I have seen plenty in uptrends that still work out fine. So it's something clearly to look out for. This is getting very messy. There's a lot of labels. That's fine. Let's get rid of this for now. So we are looking for wave three, blue. We can. Here is Bitcoin. The accounts that I had projected for last night from my forward looking discernment. And let's see what's happened. Let's zoom in right away into 30 minutes. So we had called one, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Counted the subways of this five. So one, two, three, four, and five <coughs> became the subwaves of one. Then we counted ABC. So this was a very nice ABC. What kind of an exp flat was it? It was an expanded flat. Then it started going up again. Now here is where some modifications can be made. I had expected one, two, three, four, five. <coughs> but it occurred to me today, well, gee, hedging, there's a resistance line right here. And this resistance line, we buffed it right here too. So it should have been obvious, and I missed it, that it would be repelled by this resistance line. And sure enough, it did. <laughs> so you live and learn. You never stop learning. But it was late last night. No excuses. I was traveling almost half the day. So how can we do this? One, two, three, four, A, B, C, one, two. So this A, B, C gave two. I believe we go one, two, three, four, five, but I'd rather go one, two, three, four, five, and then. <coughs> I'd like to do this as an expanded triangle. Why did I prefer expanded triangle? Well, this here, this doesn't look very impulsive to give me the fifth wave. Looks more ABC ish. So, anyways, this here is the ascending right triangle. We'll see how it goes. There's a cluster of potential tops. Now, Grizz Gal, you had asked, asked him whether this, what I'm projecting now, is on our trajectory to five, six, seven thousand. Yes and no. 
Uh, if it does close to 7,000, okay, then it kind of makes sense. But the big picture I have here is that we are in A, B, and C. This is then will be the wave 4, not here. We are in a big A, B, expanded flat. A, B, and C. And after this, After that, then let's go to the daily. Okay, so here's three. A, B, C here will be four. And then I was going to do a big picture analysis, but I'm also do it here, give an intro to it. Will be five. Where five will go to approximately, in my opinion, then 13,000. Okay, so that will be the wave five. Let me log this. Um, it doesn't look as. There you go. Come on. Okay, A, B, C. This will be four. <coughs> So from a long-term perspective, this is my primary. And here will be the 5. So that's what I'm looking at right now. And let's see. Subject to change, of course. Subject to change because depending on how the data feed comes in for new prices being placed. Okay, so it's A, B, C for 4. Expand it flat, and then we'll get the final C. And this B could be done by end of the year or before, let's say. And then we get a sizable, scary, fear-mongering decline beyond the point of A. This is when we will go to maybe 2,000, 2,500 to 2,000, maybe even spike below 1,800 or so. And then it'll pick itself up as usual, like Bitcoin always does, and just start again and trek upwards to 